Hello and welcome to the ninth episode of our HTML for Beginners series here on Prime Code Media. My name is Sana Mabena. In this episode, I'll be using what we learned in our previous episode about the HTML table elements to structure the layout of our website. What I want to achieve right here using the table element is to have this image right where it is, but to also have this text right here this information to be on the side of this image yes you can see right now we have the image at the top and then this information underneath here i want this information and this image to sit side by side and to achieve this i'm going to make use of the html table element to do that let's go back to our text editor inside the text editor i'm going to include a table inside the body i'm just going to move this down a bit so that we are able to see clearly what we are working on i'll put everything back to how it was before once i'm done let me include the table using the auto complete here is the table element i've included it here now inside this table element i'm going to include the table row here's the first table row now inside this table row we are going to have uh, two table data cells here's the first one let me include the second one this is the second table data cell now i'm going to cut this image here and paste it inside my first table data cell and cut this information here this content here from the level one header to the paragraph the second paragraph okay i need to cut this i've just cut that i'm pasting it inside my second teacher cell let's click save save our work and go back to our browser and see if there are changes yes there are changes now we have this image on the left and this content on the right you might maybe want to create a bit of space between this content and the image and to do that let's go back to our text editor and include cell spacing cell spacing let's make that to be equals to 10 pixels let's save and see if there's a bit of a difference let me refresh yeah now there's a bit of space between uh, our image and uh, this content on the right so we have managed to get this content structured this way by using the html element the html table element that now moving ahead i'm going to include a new section under hobbies and that section will have information about our uh, our experience uh, the years uh, that we have worked and the type of work that we have done you'll include whatever it is depending on your experience and the years that uh, you have been working let me go back to my text editor inside here under hobbies i'm going to include firstly a horizontal rule let me include the horizontal rule and then i'm going to include a level 3 heading inside here let me write experience and then under here i'm going to include the, a table element now inside here i'm going to include a table head this is the table head inside this table head i'm going to have a table row inside this table row i'm going to have two table header cells here's the first one table header cell number one let me include another one another table header cell now i have two table header cells the first one will have year on the same row and uh, the other one will have work 
this table header cells are inside the same row remember let's save and see if everything is rendered as expected let's refresh great now we have a, a experience this is the level 3 heading that we have included and then here we have uh, the year and the work this is the table head let us go on and uh, include the other information that we are going to need to have inside this new section inside here we are going to include now since now we have we are done including uh, the table head we have to include now the table body let's include the table body this is our table body inside our table body we are going to have uh, table rows this is our first table row inside our first uh, table row we are going to have table data cell inside here this is where you are going to find the information that you are going to find inside the each cell of this table let me include another one the table data cell inside here let me write 2010 tsh uh, okay was the every quarter for 20 cents community newspaper based in Pretoria and uh, let's just save and go back and see check inside our browser now there we go we have this information we have managed to create our first row now we are going to create uh, three more rows so I'm just going to copy this information here. I'm going to paste it twice so that we end up with three rows. The only thing that I'm going to change is just the information inside here. Here I'll put 2014. And then here I'll put in report. Uh, it is abc okay let me just put in it here like so as well as here then here i just put in 2022 delete this and replace it with what i'm doing right now web developer at prime code let's save our work and go check inside our browser let's refresh now here is that information we have now the table head as you can see it is by default in bold and it is because uh, we use the th the table header cells instead of the tr uh, instead of the td that is the table data and then here we have our first second and third rows with all that information so as you can see everything is as expected but it looks a bit cluttered we might make use i think a uh, using table uh, cell spacing might at least make our information look a bit better let's go inside this table and include uh, cell spacing here cell spacing autocomplete coming to our assistance right there let's put it at 10 pixel i think 10 pixel will be fine let's save our work and go no it seems like we have not saved because this blue light is still right here let's save okay 
now refresh it looks much better now you know not later as it looked so we managed to structure this content the way it is right now using the html table element now i'm done with experience the next thing i'm going to add is another section and that is the section that will have information about our skills i'm going to add it under here the first thing that i am going to do before i add that uh, table is the horizontal rule let's add that horizontal rule first and then uh, add another level three heading right here inside here will include it will be skills and then let's include the table now we have the table inside here we are going to include uh, the table rows using the tr tag this is our first table row we are actually going to have three of them but let's start with the first one inside this first table row we are going to have the table data cells let's have two of them two table data cells inside the first one let's write what we are working on or here html and then inside here i am going to use the stars to rate myself um to do that i'm going to make use of this website right here this is emoji keyboard.org and i'm going to search for a star in i've copied that star and i'm going to paste it inside here i'm just going to paste three of them you can paste four five however you want to rate yourself and uh, i've just put in three i believe i still have a bit of uh, way to go um let me include another table row i'm just going to copy this right here i'm going to paste it twice so that we have three items here the only thing that i'm going to change here let's just change this to c s s and here js for javascript css for cascading style sheet js for javascript and uh, let me save my work and uh, go back to our personal website let's refresh scroll down and see now here is how our information looks we have a new section skills and uh, we have a column here which has uh, this uh, 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 html css and js and here we are rating ourselves inside this column uh, this as well looks a bit flattered and uh, i would like us to use a cell spacing so that everything is a bit separate and it will be easy to view this includes cell spacing for the sake of consistency let's just put this as well at 10 pixel and uh, save let's go back and refresh yes it looks much better right now it looks much better now we managed to structure our website using the table remember earlier our website here the image was at the top and this information was at the bottom now we've managed to put this content on the side of this image using the html element moving on we created this section uh, called it experience and we managed to create it and make it look like this and we managed to do this by using the html table element as well and that includes this section about skills we also managed to make this section look as it looks right now using as well html table element
one last thing if you want to include these icons maybe you don't want to use a, a separate website what you can do as an alternative if you are using windows you can uh, click the windows a key and uh, plus the full stop and then you will still be able to uh, bring up the emoji keyboard as i have done right here and then if you are using mac you can use uh, uh if, yeah if you are using mac you can use a command plus control plus a space that will also bring up the emoji keyboard alternatively you can right click on your task bar like so and uh, go to show touch keyboard button and your keyboard will appear right here and then you will be able to click on it and uh, be able to add uh, emojis using your keyboard as you can see this is the keyboard and these are the emojis you can choose now this is how we've managed to affect the structure of our website and uh, the display of our content and uh, we've managed to achieve all this by using html table elements i hope you enjoyed every part of this episode please make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell icon to get notifications when new videos come out thank you so much folks for watching until we call again next time goodbye Thank you.